Hello everybody, my name is Gina Badiou and I will be teaching you this year the course of geometry. The course description, this course will cover various geometry topics and principles including coordinate and spatial, spatial geometry, introductory trigonometry, angles, parallel lines, congruent and similar triangles, polygons and other figures like circles, the Pythagorean theorem and more. We also focus on problems that serve to review our algebra skills and continue to develop our critical thinking skills through various problem solving and real world situations. The textbook used, it is geometry from Envision Savas. The materials that you are going to need in the class of geometry, a binder, spiral notebook, folders, pencils. I will not accept any work written in pen, a good eraser, sharpener, scientific calculator. If some of you have the graphing calculator, it will be okay. But easier to be used in geometry is the scientific calculator with solver. And we will periodically use these calculators. The objectives calls in course of geometry. By the end of this course, students will be able to utilize various, various geometric tools appropriately, understand and apply geometric theorems, apply geometric concepts in modeling situations, gain a deeper understanding of various algebra skills, experiment, experiment, experiment uh, with transformations in the plane, apply trigonometry to general triangles, identify various formulas and use them to solve problems, visualize relationships between two-dimensional and three-dimensional objects. Expectations in class of geometry. First of all, you have to be respectful. This applies to your teacher and fellow students. Being respectful means showing up to class on time and starting your do now, paying attention in class, staying awake and on task, being helpful during group work, asking questions, using respectful language, respecting the classroom. You have to be prepared. Your homework should be completed on time. If you have questions, they should be written on a separate sheet to go over in the class. Your notebook should be organized and label it accurately. You should always come to class with the required materials, uh, binder, pencil, paper, calculators. Also, you must be ready to participate in class and ask questions. You have to be responsible. You will succeed in my course if you work hard from the very beginning. In math, concepts build on one another. So it is imperative that you practice and understand each new topic. Be ready to review old concepts at the beginning of the year and if they come up later in the semester. It is your responsibility to catch up if you miss an assignment. Practice integrity. Always turn in your own work. Don't tell people the answers. Explain the process to them so they can learn how to find the answers themselves. The grading in our class. As long the course of geometry it's part of the external subject, uh, the whole year it is classified into four assignments. The semester one will have two assignments and the, in the semester two, uh, another two assignments. Uh, each one of the assignments, they will be graded in the same way as you can see it. For example, in one of the assignments, which means 30%, 35%, these 35%, you will receive them from tests. So in an assignment, you will have two tests out of 50%. Quizzes, the quizzes they can be given at the end of each lesson and by the way the test of, at the end of each chapter, uh, so quizzes 5%, the homework and the assignments 10% and participation 5%. If you add up, you see here we have 
35% for the assessment one. Assessment two, it will be in the same in the same way. And the final exam at the end of the semester, 30%. So all together, 100% per semester. Homework policy. You will be assigned a homework every day the class meets. Some homework will use websites like ixl.com, uh, MathBits Notebook, while other assignments will be turned in on paper and graded for completion or accuracy. Since I give you answer key, because sometimes there it will be an answer key, you must show all your work on homework to receive credit. It's well known that in mathematics, there you cannot give a direct answer, especially at this uh, level. So you have to show your work. If you still have a question the day of class, write it down on a separate sheet of paper and let me know at the beginning of class. And I will set aside time after the do now to address your question or review the problem. If you are absent, if you miss class, you can find your missed homework assignments on the daily UC page for the practice blog. Uh, it is your responsibility to find out if there is any in-class work you need to make up. You will be able to turn in missed assignments late without penalty, an amount of, equal, uh, uh, of days equal to the number of classes you missed. So if you miss one class, you have one day after you return. If you miss three classes, you have three days after you return to complete your assignments. Cell phone electronic device policy. The use of cell phone is not permitted in class at any time without permission, even as calculators and your laptops. Phones may be taken and uh, may be taken and stored for the remainder of the period if they are being used during the class. iPods and other MP3 players are also not to be used as calculators. So you have to bring your own calculator. Uh, also the laptops. Laptop is going to be used when I'm going to ask you to do this. Breaking these rules will lead to demerits. Academic dishonesty. All of students' work is expected to be his or her own. Cheating in any form will not be tolerated. If a student is caught cheating, he or she will receive a zero on that assignment and parents, guardians will be contacted. All I want to say is to wish you good luck for this new coming year. See you.